so well. Um, scared, very intimidated. Um, but we we looked up to the the music in the Bond franchise for pretty much like as long as I can remember. Um, as like I don't know, it's so weird. There was there was there was um, no uh, confusion at all about Bond, I and mean, it has been such a big part of our lives for so long that the fact that we are involved at all was. Unbelievable. This Oscar started a long time ago. So I saw you on the floor by talking, looking you up, what's it? <laughs> Tell me how you got from there to here. Oh. Please. I think, I don't know if there's an easy way to put that or answer that question. I can tell you a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, a lot of active choice to take my rejections as redirections. Um, Where do you put your Oscar in your home? <laughs> because your uh, speech was so moving. What did you think about this speech? Uh, where will I put my Oscar in my home? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. I feel really, I still can't understand that I'm holding an Oscar. This is the first time I've held an Oscar. I'm friends with Eddie Redmayne and I've been to his house in London and I was Everyone was like, oh, look, it's Oscar, and they all picked it up, and I was like, I can't pick it up. <laughs> I felt superstitious, so this is the very first time I've even held it, so I have had no thought of where it's going to go. But I will respect it, for sure, wherever it is. No distributor. Like, I, I went into Sundance thinking, I hope somebody buys this movie, and we just won Best Picture. Like, this is, like, the stuff that dreams are made of. It's really been amazing, and so... You know, yes, to to women out there, to indie filmmakers out there, to anyone who's fighting to tell a story, like, this is a beautiful moment. Right now, to accept this award on behalf of Hal Tolson and Tony Lawrence, this is the story of two gentlemen with a dream who wanted to heal uh, a nation that was hurting with the concert festival. And, you know, we are very fortunate enough to be the bridge to carry this denied moment um, for the last 50 years to the end zone. And um, I couldn't be happier right now for two gentlemen with a dream uh, and to see their dream come true. Basketball Hall of Fame. She led her small Delta Mississippi Delta team to three national championships. She scored the first basket in women's Olympic history. And her story was basically ignored for 45 years until she told it to me in July 2020. And I think this win shows not only that Lucy Harris, uh, her story... I'm going to go back on Tuesday. I've had about five days. So tell me about creating these designs. You know, what was your inspiration? Sure, the books and comics and all that stuff, but what was the, what was the crux of it? The script, because... That's where I always start from, the storytelling from the script, 